President Trump launched his first full work week by signing a bundle of executive actions with ramifications for rural America. Great thing for the American worker, what we just did. Organized labor hailed U.S. withdrawal from the Trans-Pacific Partnership in favor of bilateral trade negotiations. Responses in the agricultural sector were mixed. The National Farmers Union applauded Trump's move, calling TPP deeply flawed. However, the American Farm Bureau bemoaned the loss of potential markets valued at over $4 billion in annual export revenue. And the U.S. Meat Export Federation said it remained fully committed to trading partners among the 11 member nations of TPP. The president breathed fresh life into two controversial pipelines, Dakota Access and Keystone XL, delayed and all but defunct respectively as the rollback of Obama's legacy continued. In the case of Keystone, critics claim the maneuver gives the U.S. nothing in return after clearing an export path for Canadian crude across American soil. A media blackout and contract freeze at the Environmental Protection Agency irked some environmental groups who conceded overreaching regulations like the Waters of the United States rule may have helped deliver the White House to Trump. What's so concerning about this is that it didn't even get at the regulations. It just got at the funding structure that helps provide the research to provide basic scientific facts. On the campaign trail, the president had insisted Mexico would foot the bill for a wall on the border between the two nations. Generator on. After the election, that promise morphed into taxpayers picking up the tab. We are going to finance the, the Secure Fence Act, which is the construction of the physical barrier on the border. Um, we have ambitious goals and ambitious timelines. Our goal is to get these laws done in 2017. Congressional leaders are poised to spend $15 billion on the project, but after a scrapped meeting with Mexico's president, Trump announced a 20 percent import tax on goods from south of the border as another potential payment option. For Market to Market, I'm Josh Bittner.